Father, in Zimbabwe we see the majesty of your creation on full display. We imagine the delight you took in shaping elegant giraffes, enormous elephants, and regal antelopes. We see your greatness in towering boulders and your power in roaring waterfalls. We imagine your joy in forming each woman, man, and child who lives in this beautiful country. But we also know that your heart breaks for the suffering they have experienced after years of political and economic instability. Many families have gone hungry. Others have suffered injustice. Whole communities have been hit by the HIV epidemic. Yet, we know that you love each person deeply, Lord, and that you hear when they cry out to you. We praise you for the opportunity to join your restorative work in this country through savings groups run by local churches in conjunction with Hope International. We thank you that in this majority Christian nation, so many are joining together to pray, worship, learn, and save together. We praise you that churches in Zimbabwe aren't simply saying go in peace to those in need but are serving their neighbors in specific physical ways, seeking solutions that dignify and empower. We ask that you would draw savings group members closer to you. We long to see them come to know you as savior and provider and learn to fully employ the gifts, skills, and ideas you place in them. May they find in one another a wellspring of support and encouragement. By working together, may they become more aware of the image of God reflected in one another and as a result, grow to love you more. We pray for more opportunities for Zimbabwean men and women to fulfill their potential. We ask you to guide them as they make decisions about how to manage their savings. For those who invest in businesses, we pray that they would serve their communities well, adding value and creating jobs. May the money they save result in more children educated, more families well fed, and more lives transformed both physically and spiritually. Lord, we ask you to multiply generosity within these groups, increasing their joy as they give and serve others. We pray that the savings groups would be so filled with your love that it would flow through them into their communities, attracting others to the same opportunity to flourish. Thank you, Lord, for the work you are doing in Zimbabwe. In your precious name we pray. Amen. <laughs>